Does it matter if you charge a Tesla car to 80, 90, or 100? Yes, it does matter, and here's why. Battery health and longevity lithium-ion batteries, like the ones in Teslas, degrade over time. Constantly charging to 100% can accelerate this degradation. Tesla recommends charging to 80 to 90% for daily use to preserve battery health. Think of it as giving your car a comfortable living environment instead of constant extreme conditions. Your battery will thank you in the long run. Range and practicality. If you charge to 100%, you obviously get the maximum range out of your Tesla. This might be important for long trips where you need every mile you can get. But how often are you driving long distances daily? For most daily commutes, 80 to 90% will give you plenty of range and contribute to better battery longevity. Charging time. Charging from 80% to 100% takes disproportionately longer and more energy. As the battery gets closer to full, the charging speed slows down to protect the battery. So, by keeping it between 80 to 90%, you save on time and energy costs. Tesla's recommendations. Tesla itself suggests maintaining an 80 to 90% charge for regular use. They even give you a handy indicator in the app, suggesting that daily charging should be set to that level. When you set the charger to max out at 100%, Tesla often labels this as trip charging, indicating this should be used sparingly. Battery Management Systems Tesla's battery management system is exceptionally good at taking care of your battery, but it's not magic. It toes the line between performance and longevity based on your charging habits. Frequent 100% charges might push the system harder than necessary for typical daily use. So, unless you are planning a long trip, charging to 80 to 90% will extend the life of your battery and save you some time at the charging station. Plus, it's a habit that aligns with Tesla's own guidelines. Happy driving! Happy.